Welcome to Nest. We're going to show you how to install and set up your Nest Learning Thermostat. Everything you need is in the box. The installation guide, screwdriver, screws, and a trim kit to cover any holes in the wall. Installation is simple. You'll remove your old thermostat, install the Nest base, connect some wires, then attach the display. If you haven't already checked that your system will work with the Nest thermostat, go to our online compatibility checker. You'll also get a personalized wiring guide for installation. If your thermostat is built into the wall, connected to thick wires with wire nuts, or labeled 110, 120, or 240 volts, you have a high voltage system, which is not compatible with the Nest thermostat. Don't connect your Nest thermostat to these high voltage wires. Let's get started. Go to your home's breaker box and turn off the switch that controls power to your heating and cooling system. This will protect it during installation. If you need to, you can also turn off the main power switch at the breaker box. Make sure you've turned the right breaker off by changing the temperature with your current thermostat. Wait a few minutes to make sure your system doesn't turn on. Next, take off the front of your old thermostat. Many simply pop off, while others have screws you need to take out. Once the front of your thermostat is off, take a picture of the wires with your phone. This will be useful for reference later. If there's a jumper wire connecting one wire to another, remove it. You won't need it. Because every heating and cooling system is different, it's important to label the wires. Attach the labels in the installation guide to the matching wires. Then you can disconnect them from your old thermostat. Most thermostats have screws that hold the wires in. Use the included Nest screwdriver to disconnect them. Other thermostats may have buttons that you simply press to release the wire. When all the wires are out, carefully remove the back plate, making sure none of the wire labels fall off. Now it's time to install the Nest thermostat base. But first, if there are any holes or unpainted areas on the wall, this is a great time to patch, spackle, and paint. Or you can use the optional trim plate to cover up any holes. If you're installing your Nest thermostat on an electrical box, use the included steel plate. Then you can install the trim plate over it. Gently pull the wires through the thermostat base. Put one screw in the top hole. The Nest screws are self-tapping and will go into drywall and other soft materials without drilling. For harder materials like wood, pre-drill a hole with a 3 32nds or 2.5 mm drill bit. Use the built-in level to make sure the Nest base is straight. Then snug down both the top and bottom screws. Now it's time to connect the wires. Check the ends of your thermostat wires. They should be straight. If not, restrip them and trim the ends, leaving 3 8 of an inch or 10 millimeters of wire exposed. Insert each wire that has a label into the matching connector. Simply hold down the connector button and push the wire all the way in. Make sure that the connector buttons stay down after you've inserted each wire. Otherwise, your Nest thermostat may not get enough power and you won't be able to finish setup. Only put one wire into each connector, and don't connect any wires to your Nest thermostat that weren't connected to your old thermostat. Push in the wires so they're flush with the wall. This will help the Nest display connect to the base. To connect the display, hold it so the Nest logo is at the top. Push it onto the base until you hear it click. Now go back to the circuit breaker and turn the power back on. Your Nest thermostat will start up and guide you through setup. It should only take a couple of minutes. Here's a preview. You'll pick a language, connect it to Wi-Fi and the internet, tell it a few basics about your home, and tell it about your heating and cooling system so it can help save energy. Then you'll test. Be sure to have your network password handy. Connecting to Wi-Fi will let your thermostat download important software updates and let you access and control it with your phone. Your thermostat will also show you which wires it's detected. If they match the wires you installed, select Continue. If not, check that you've inserted the wires into the right connectors and make sure they're pushed all the way in. If you need more help, visit our support site. Next, you'll tell your thermostat about your home's location so it knows about the weather outside. You'll also tell it where it's installed in your home and tell it a couple of things about your heating and cooling system. Then you'll run a quick test to make sure everything's working right. Now you'll add your thermostat to your Nest account with the Nest app. 
If you don't have a Nest account, go to the Apple App Store or Google Play to download the free Nest app. Launch the app to create an account. If you already have a Nest account, make sure you're using the latest version of the app and sign in. Once you're signed into your account, tap Add, then choose Nest Thermostat. If you already have a Nest product in your account, go to the Settings menu to add your thermostat. You can skip the next couple of screens since you've already installed it. When you get here, you'll enter a key code. It's easy. Just tap Show Me How. Press your thermostat's ring to get to the menu. Select Settings, then Nest Account. After you've entered the key, it'll appear on the Nest app home screen. Tap on your thermostat to adjust the temperature. Change settings and more. That's it. To learn more about the Nest thermostat and how to use it, go to our support site.